Hey, all you crazy people. All you crazy gardeners want to grow something really crazy in your yard. Every year, I put seeds of roselle in the ground about June. Maybe, actually, I'm planning on planting them in May. These things are taller than me now here in October, and they're just now starting to flower. These flowers will get bigger, open up, and they'll be like a peak flower. Then they'll close back up and look like this, but only about 10 to 15 times bigger than this. And this red flesh right here is what you want to harvest. Because they'll have the seed pod in there. Take out the seed pod and you harvest these calyx. Got them all over there on the other side of the pond. Got some other places too. I'll take you. Ooh, I see the fish in there. On the other side of my Okinawa purple sweet potatoes, I got some more roselle. They really like it in full sun. That's why this year I planted them in. Pretty much full sun all day. But look at the stalks on these things. Almost like a tree. And you can actually eat the leaves in your salads. These actually taste like cranberries. As a matter of fact, in uh, Florida, they call them Florida cranberries. I have some more in my raised bed. And here they are. Oh my goodness. Those are up to about eight, nine feet. So these are all Roselle. Just planted a few seeds in my raised bed. And there they are. Like I said, right now they start to flower. They're actually flowering later this year than they have been, which is fine because. Uh, I like to use the calyx, I'll turn them into a, a syrup, very rich in vitamin C, and they turn them into nature's Kool-Aid, which is a roselle tea, and it makes a beautiful Christmas drink because it's bright red. I always like to put them in my Christmas glasses on ice, add some whipped cream and sprinkles. It's a beautiful Christmas drink. It's very nutritious. But uh, this is one thing you can grow every year in your garden and enjoy in the holidays. Plant some roselle. Have a good day, guys.